I don't know why these jobs are so difficult to do. Someone will say no luck. Someone will say bad weather. And I say, dude, chill out. It's just a bad day at work. So without further ado, let's see what heavy mining equipment has prepared for us. This is one of the most frightening things a truck driver can experience in a mine. 95% of such cases end fatally. This guy was lucky it wasn't from a great height. Although the truck was completely destroyed in the fire, the driver ended up with minor injuries. Better not watch if you are a Pontiac fan. This is how the new 113-ton Cat D11T bulldozer is being tested in America. Nice presentation, guys. This 380-ton Belaz dump truck is struggling to conquer this slippery slope, even though it's fully loaded with copper ore. Such driving conditions are very common during the rainy season, making it challenging for drivers to navigate smoothly. And if you're wondering where the grader is, well, someone has to record this amazing drifting. This is true hell, and it's even worse that the truck is fully loaded with coal. The guy who's yelling says, Quickly, give me more buckets of water. And the dude with the cigar is like, Screw this, I'm going home. Moving on from fire to explosives. This Mercedes truck carrying a hefty 20 tons of explosives found itself trapped in the mud, threatening to tip over. The driver's misjudgment led to a delay in the blasting process as the truck became stuck with the explosives. You can watch the full video at the link in the description. Imagine sitting with your colleagues in a pickup truck for a drive through a mine and a 114-ton truck passes over you. Now imagine that thing fully loaded with a total weight of 376 tons. Well, I can't even imagine. And that's exactly what happened to these guys. 90% of cases end up with a fatal outcome, but these guys were lucky that day. Hey! 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 And now the main question arises, whose fault is it? The guys in the Suzuki or the truck driver? I really would like to know your opinion. Write it in the comment section. Metros. 
This Komatsu D375A8 dozer knows no bounds. And thanks to its six-cylinder engine that generates a powerful 610 horsepower, this small rock is not a problem at all. Well, I'm talking about this small rock. Luckily, the excavator operator was closely watching everything and warned him with a horn to stop. In such situations, intense concentration and good collaboration among colleagues are essential. From the dozer cab, it's simply impossible to see what's happening three to four meters in front of the blade. And likewise, you can't see between the blade and the engine radiator neither. So the operator works by feel. Thanks to good teamwork and concentration among colleagues, significant damage to the bulldozer was prevented, allowing it to continue its work smoothly and efficiently. No, this is not mud skippers. This is the Log Set 6F GT, an efficient forwarder machine designed for transporting logs from the forest. It weighs 18 tons, boasts a loading capacity of 14 tons, and features an adjustable load bay length ranging from 4 to 5.2 meters. Powered by a 7.4 liter AGCO power engine, generating 230 horsepower. The 6F GT maintains an impressive driving speed even in challenging conditions. It is equipped with a Macera 92F crane capable of gripping logs between 8 and 10 meters in length. It has a lifting capacity of 130 kilonewton and can rotate a full 360 degrees. Very bad working conditions and a very dangerous situation. That rock could have injured someone. When the machine gets stuck in the mud, in this case, a skitter, who will you call? A bulldozer, of course. No, no, let's try again. When the machine gets stuck in the mud, who will you call? An excavator, of course. Since the dozer couldn't push the skitter out, the excavator came to help. Will it manage to pull the skitter out? Let's watch and find out. I think Ludacris's song that starts with Move best describes this situation. This Volvo nearly damaged the Hitachi with this large rock. 
Such situations are common in mines due to a lack of safety measures. What is concerning is that people are often too close to the operating area of the machines, like this man in the video. The rain that fell continuously for three days turned the roads into rivers. This greater operator admires the waterfalls formed by the rain, unaware that in two hours the dam will break and he will be trapped by the incoming water and mud. Wait, is this a Komatsu or XCMG? If you know, write it in the comments. I'm really curious. Whatever it is, it's a true beast. Man, this guy really had some luck. He could have ended up in the water. <laughs> I really have no comment on this. That was nice and smooth. Fog and poor visibility are the main causes of such accidents. Really? I mean, why do people have no respect for these machines? Man, get a dozer or loader. Well, I guess, why choose the easy way when you can go the hard way? And in the end, experience what it feels like to drive such a massive truck. Well guys, 
we've come to the end of our journey. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you've come home stressed from work, watch more of our videos like this one. It'll help you relax. So, until the next video, take care and don't do anything stupid.